Hi, I'm Stephanie, and today I'm going to be talking about how to use Famorator. Famorator is a platform used to compare bacteriophage genomes and individual genes of bacteriophages. Before we continue, it is important to understand some basic terminology. A FAM is a group of genes that are highly related to each other based upon gene nucleotide sequence and amino acid sequence. An ORFAM is a gene that does not belong to a FAM or it's not closely related enough to another annotated gene to be classified into a group. A cluster is a group of bacteriophages that are related to each other based upon their genome. Clusters are notated by letters. Clusters can be further classified into subclusters which are notated by a number after the cluster letter. All phages in a subcluster belong to a cluster, but not all phages in a cluster are in a subcluster. A singleton is a bacteriophage that does not belong to any cluster. So, it is a phage that is not closely related enough to any other known phage to be classified into the same group. Now that we know some basic terminology, let's take a look. So the web address is famorator.org, and you'll need to create a login. Um, but anyone can create a login account, and I have already signed in to mine. So now we'll look at how to use Famorator to look at genomes of different phages. So we click on Genome Maps at the top here. There we go. And now we see singletons, A, A1, A2, etc. So phages in A1, A2, A3, etc. are phages in cluster A and have similar enough genomes to be classified together. Again, phages that are even more closely related can be further classified into subclusters, and the numbers represent subclusters within the cluster. So a1, 2, 3, 4, 5 are subclusters of cluster A, the numbers. So if we scroll down, we can see a lot of different subclusters and clusters. And as you can see, there are a lot of subclusters in cluster A. So two letters, though, started being used to annotate clusters when we ran out of individual letters. So cluster AA is different from cluster A, and cluster AL is different from cluster A and AA. So now if you click on a line, the line next to the cluster or subcluster name, it will show you all of the phages in that cluster or subcluster. So to look at a genome of a specific phage, we select the phage that we want to look at. And then we click View Map. And now you see the genome uh, map of the phage that you're looking at. And here's the whole thing. So it's important to note that all the genes above the measuring tape are on one strand of DNA, and the reading frame above is from left to right. And then the, on the complementary strand of DNA, the reading frame is from right to left. So the top strand of DNA is 5 prime to 3 prime, 5 prime being here and 3 prime being at the end. And the bottom strand of DNA is from 3 prime on this end and 5 prime on the other end over here. So the reading frame is this way on the bottom strand and this direction on the top strand. 
So the numbers above the genes represent FAM numbers, and in the parentheses is the number of total FAM members in that FAM. Genes in the same FAM have the same FAM number, and they also have the same color. So, but if you see a white gene, it's an or FAM, or again, a gene that does not belong to a FAM. Also, if you click on a gene, it will display the DNA sequence. And also, you can click protein and it will show you the amino acid sequence. So you can copy this to your clipboard if you want to use it in some other application. Now, if I want to compare two genomes to each other, you can select two phages that you want to look at. I'm going to select Penny one and Tiffany. And then you click View Map again. It shows you both of the genome maps at the same time. And also, with the comparison of the two genomes, um, the colors represent nucleotide sequence similarity in varying degrees, and the purple portrays the strongest nucleotide sequence similarity. So here you can see that these two phages are highly related, which we would expect because they are in the same subcluster. And you can see that they have almost all of their FAM gene genes in common, with few exceptions. So these two are the same, these are the same. Um, here's an exception. So it shows you all the genes. Of these two phages. Now let's take a look at a phage, two phages, but one in the same cluster, let's see, in the same cluster but in a different subcluster. So I'm going to deselect Tiffany and I'm going to select a phage in subcluster A10 or 10 of cluster A, subcluster 10. So then we click view map again. And so you can see that these two phages have a lot of FAM genes in common, but not as many as in the last example. So they're, they're not as highly, highly related as the two phages in the same subcluster. There's less purple in this example than in the last one. So there's less nucleotide sequence similarity. Now, let's take a look at two phages in different clusters. So, I'm going to deselect Goose in, clus sub in cluster, subcluster 10 of cluster A. And I'm going to pick a, um, a phage in cluster B, subcluster 1 of cluster B. Now I'm going to pick Fang. And as you can see here, there isn't a lot of, or isn't really any nucleotide sequence similarity between these two phages. So these two phages are very different. There's no purple. Um, it's also important to know that you can also look at multiple phages at the same time. You don't you can choose more than two to compare. So I'm gonna choose a couple in A3 and it shows you a comparison of all of these. So that's my introduction to FamRater and thanks for watching.